God is good. And all the times. Yes, we are welcome you in this mass, which is being aired by Captain TV. And we have our intentions, everyone have got his own intention, and together we have intentions and Francis, a small Christian community, praying for their families, and remembering those who are sick, more so Beatrice, George, and Eunice. Also, Rose of God have a special intention that King, that, that, of thanksgiving. They are praying for their families, also praying to God to control or to eliminate this COVID-19 called Delta. And also you have the, the intention of family of Mr. and Mrs. Getao, dedicating their mother, Felicita Wajiro Keiro, who is also sick, but uh, thank God is doing well now and also dedicating the harabe today so that they can be able to pay the bills for the hospital bill also we have intentions uh, praying for our dear ones who have been called to, the, to be with the Lord uh, Father John Musioka from Garissa from Enamoiro Irimo Patricia Gojiri, Gojiri, Patrick Gojiri, and Joseph Dongo Kinyajui, the Veronica Modoni Kuria. Pamoja na haya, we have also our intentions. Let us offer them to the Lord. Look to your covenant, O Lord, and forget not the life of your poor ones forever. Arise, O God, and defend your, your cause, and forget not the cries of those who seek you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Let us mind our sins so that we may be worthy to offer uh, a sacrifice before the Lord. I confess to Almighty God that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, to pray for me, the Lord. The mighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life.
Let us pray. Almighty, ever living God, home taught by the Holy Spirit, we dare to call our Father, to call our Father, bring we pray to perfection in our hearts the spirit of adoption as you are sons and daughters that you may marry to enter in the inheritance which has which you have promised through our Lord Jesus Christ your son who lives and lives with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit one God forever and ever reading a reading from the first book of Kings in those days Elijah went a day's journey into the wilderness and came and sat down under a broom tree and he asked that he might die saying it is enough now O Lord Take away my life, for I am no better than my father's. And he lay down and slept under a broom tree. And behold, an angel touched him and said to him, Arise and eat. And he looked, and behold, there was at his head a cake baked on hot stones, and a jar of water. And he ate and drank and lay down again. And the angel of the Lord came again a second time and touched him and said, Arise and eat, else the journey will go too great for you. And he rose and ate and drank and walked in the strength of that food forty days and forty nights to Horeb, the mount of God, the word of the Lord. Responsorial song. The response is Test and see that the Lord is good. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Test and see that the Lord is good. I will bless the Lord at all times. Praise of him is always in my mouth. In the Lord my soul shall make it boast. The humble shall hear and be glad. Glorify the Lord with me. 
Together let us praise his name. I sought the Lord and he answered me. From all my ter terrors he set me free. Look towards him and be radiant. Let your faces not be abashed. This lowly one called the Lord had and rescued him from all his distress. The angel of the Lord is encamped around those who fear him to rescue them. Test and see that the Lord is good. Blessed the man who seeks refuge in him. The second reading. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to, Ephesia, to the Ephesians. Brethren, do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God in whom you are sealed for the day of redemption. Let all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor and slander be put away from you with all malice. And be kind to one another, tender-hearted, forgiving one another, as God in Christ forgave you. Therefore, be imitators of God as beloved children, and walk in love as Christ loved us and gave himself up for us, a fragrant offering and sacrifice to God, the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us stand for gospel acclamation. which came down from heaven, says the Lord. If anyone eats of this bread, he will live forever. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the gospel according to John. Glory to you. Oh Lord. At that time, the Jews murmured at Jesus because he said, I am the blood which come down from heaven. They said, Is not this Jesus the son of Joseph? Whose father and mother we know? How does he say, I have come down from heaven? Jesus answered them, Do not murmur among yourselves. No one, come, no one can come to me unless the Father who sent me draws him, and I will raise him up at the last day. It is written in the prophets, and they shall all be taught by God. Everyone who has heard and learned from the Father comes to me. Not that anyone has seen the Father except him who is from Father. He has seen the Father. Today, today I say to you, he who believes has eternal life. I am the blood of life. Your fathers ate the manna in the wilderness and they died. This is the bread which come down from heaven, that a man may eat of it and not die. I am the living bread which come down from, he from heaven. If, you, if anyone eats of this bread, 
he will live forever. And the blood which I shall give for the life of the world is my flesh. The Gospel of the Lord. God is good. And all the time, that is his nature. Yes, that day, that Sunday, that Christ is talking to us, or he is presenting himself as food. Christ is giving us food. Remember last Sunday, part one? Christ met those thousands of people who were hungry, and he gave them food to eat. He blessed bread and fish, and they were able to eat their food. And last Sunday, we made the same same people coming to look for him. And Jesus asked them, Are you looking for me because I gave you bread? Because I gave you food to eat? The food that does not last, the food that you ate, and now you are hungry. They were looking for Jesus of bread, the Jesus of food. And now the discourse continues, interrogation between Jesus and these people. Because they were telling him, we want signs, so that you may know actually you are Christ. And today, they are, they are not happy with him, that saying that he come down from heaven. And actually, he's telling them that I am the blood which come down from heaven. And they said, is, it, is, is not this Jesus, son of Joseph, whose father and mother we know? God is good. And all the time. The same, same people will say about you. How they know about you and how they know where you have come from. We all want to live long life. Everyone is trying, especially this movement when there is a pandemic of COVID-19, especially Delta, that is so harsh on us. We are trying to do the best so that we can survive, so that we can live. But in our first reading today, we see this prophet of God, Elijah. After trying to live and to show that there is one who give, gives life, now he wants to die. Remember, Prophet Elijah was one of the greatest prophets we have. I think we don't have another one like him. That's why, even though in the New Testament, they were looking for the coming of Elijah before Christ. And actually, they, they, they see John the Baptist as the second Elijah or the, the, the incarnate of Elijah because of how great he was. And remember, Elijah did great things. Remember, he resurrected that boy who died. He was able to kill the 400 prophets of, of, of Baal, the false prophets. He was also able to call fire from heaven to consume the sacrifice that he offered before the Lord so that the, 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 the sky can open and bring rain to the dust ground to people who are about to die because of drought for three years and a half. And today, he is running away, very disoriented. He is running away, very lonely. He is running away without, uh, with a lot of bitterness. But why? Is it because Jezebel is running after him? Is it because Jezebel wants to kill him? Probably yes. But at the same time, it is because he was not able to achieve his, uh, to, uh, to, to achieve what he wanted to do. Because the, at the time that he was doing all this, the people of Israel, he wanted these people to come back to God. He wanted these people not to be 
worshipping idols, not to be worshipping uh, God of Baal that were brought by Jezebel in the land of Israel. And after recognizing that, even after doing all that, even of the people witnessing God doing this great thing to, to them, they are not ready to turn their hearts towards God. And that's why this man became, uh, he was disheartened. He was disoriented. He found himself alone, full of bitterness, dispirited. Because these people are not ready. Even the prophet himself, or even the, the king himself, King Hahab, could not see the miracle from God. He could just see prophet Elijah. Many times we find ourselves like him. That we have been doing great things for the sake of gospel, for the sake of the kingdom of heaven. But those we want them to respond, they are not ready to respond. Or people, they are not ready. Uh, they, they, are, they, are, they are not. They are not thankful. People so as if we are just. It's just a normal thing. They are not ready to see that we are sacrificing for the sake of them and for the sake of their salvation. But there is two or things that we are learning from this prophet of God. One, he left all his servants and learn away alone. Sometimes we learn from those people God has given us to stay with. Maybe our family members. Maybe those people we, we live in the community together with them. And we find ourselves alone and lonely. Yes, we find ourselves lonely because we feel that there is no one who understands us. We feel that there is no one who is there for us. We feel that we are neglected by the world and by our fellow human beings. That's what happened to this prophet of God. Though he was a great one, though he was mighty, he was at the lowest point of his life. And this will always come, so long as we are human beings, we will always find, at, uh, find ourselves at the lowest point of our life, which we, call, we may call, like the St. John of the Cross, the dark night of our souls. The depression, of uh, the spiritual depression. Not the psycho depression, but spiritual one. That we are displaced, that we can't God, we can't go God in our life. Go, we see God very far from us. The second thing we learn from him is that he stopped interceding for the people of God and he focused on himself. Sometimes we, start, we stop interceding for our others and we focus on ourselves. We, st we stop attending others. We stop taking care of others and we only focus on ourselves. And this is the time that we feel we are alone and nobody else cares about us. And the third thing is that we find ourselves hopeless like this man. He say, now I want to die. Despite that we always want to live. At one moment of life, you feel that now you, are, you, do, you don't want to live again. You want that. the hopelessness of life. Sometimes we find that we, are not, we, we have no hope. Because whatever you have been hoping in, uh, we are ho ho been hoping for, is gone. And now we find there is nothing that we can cling on. But at the same time, we, ha we find that this man was, had faith in God. Still he had some faith in God. And that's why he is praying to him. Because he knew no one can take his life but only God. It's only God who could take his life. And now he's telling him, go now, you can take my life. I have tried to fight, I have tried to do everything to these people, but I'm not able to, over, do, to overdo them. At the same time, he find that he acknowledged his condition. It is good to acknowledge your condition. Sometimes we may not acknowledge the condition that we are in. And that's a moment of healing when we acknowledge our condition. 
And by, do, by so doing, God will send his angels to come and administer to us. He, ca- he sent his angels to come and serve us. Probably these were some of his servants who came to serve, to serve him. They came with blood and water. And even as God will always send us angels, there's no moment in life that will lose or God will leave you. God will always send his angels to come and uplift you, to come and strengthen you, to come and walk with you at the lowest point of your life. But if only we keep our faith in him. This prophet of God challenges us that many a time we seek the help of God but probably we are not led, we are not ready to be helped by God remember that story of this man who was very very close to God and this man used to pray to God that he should help him at the moment of death and there came a flood in their country and he was in his room and found that it was flooded and the canoe passed by and the, the canoe ma- man told him, why can't you let me help you, rescue you? And the man said, no, I'm waiting for the Lord. And the, the water was above, above his head and he cried to the, to the, uh, to the, uh, to the first floor. And now the motorboat passed and this man told him, why can't you let him help you? And he said, no, I'm waiting for the Lord. I know he'll come and help me. And the water came up to the, to the top of the house. And this man was at the, to- at, the, at the rooftop. And the helicopter passed by. And the pilot told him, I can help you, man. And he said, no, I'm waiting for the Lord. But the man died because of the flood. And when he leaves heaven, he told God, now, why, can't, why, why, did you to, you, why did you do this to me? And God told him, I came the, uh, three times, I came thrice, but you are not labo- ready to be helped. Many a time he may be like that, but like, like that man. You saw even the prophet, the first time he saw the servant, the age of God came, and he administered to him, but he was not ready to go. It is only the second time that he accepted to continue with the journey. He was given food, the food that is not just like the food that Jesus gave those people, the 5,000 men, that they ate at the same time they got hungry the following day. He gave them the food, he gave this prophet, Elijah, food that took him 40 days. The strength, the, the food gave him strength to continue with the journey for 40 days. Which is this food can, can make you continue with journey with such thing? It's only the food that comes from heaven. The food, the food that Jesus is saying to us, is talking to us today in the gospel, that I am the bread which come down from heaven. Not like the manna, but the food that will sustain us, that the food that will give us eternal life, that is telling us, I came down from heaven. It is the food that is in the word, that we are pleased to every time. That word continue to strengthen us. That, con- that word continue to give us hope. That co- word continue to sustain our faith. If that is the food that comes from heaven. And that's why we say the table of the word is also a table that nourishes us. That the table that continue to give us more strength to ca- encounter God. The go- God always come to meet us in the table of the word. And more so at the same time in the table of the Eucharist. The food that is Jesus Christ himself. And when we eat him, he gives us uh, strength, continue and even knowledge, continue knowing God more and also hoping in him and trusting ourselves in his care. We are told when we eat this food by our second reading from Ephesians, St. Paul uh, to Ephesians, then we make the Holy Spirit our friend. We don't grieve him. And at the same time, we let the bitterness go away. There are the anger, the clamor and slander. We let them, we put them away. And now we put ourselves or we 
clothe ourselves with kindness, tenderheartedness, forgiving, forgiveness, or forgiving each other. And as God is in Christ, we are able to, to forgive one another. And we became true imitators of God and true imitators of, of Christ. And then we, call, we are called the beloved children of God when we accept this food of heaven. Therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, let us always be looking for this food of heaven that this, uh, this Jew, after sometimes they will tell Jesus, then give us that food that we eat. Jesus always give us this food. He is the food of the journey. We have to go to Mount Tabor to meet God there. It is only this food that will help us to continue with the journey for 40 days. 40 days means the whole life of our life. Of our life. 40 days means the time of preparation, the time we prepare to meet our God in his holy mountain. Jesus is the food of the journey. Jesus is the journey itself. He is the journey itself. Yeah, yeah, dear Gia, I am the way. He is the journey itself. And if at all we follow him, we won't lose the mark. We will follow the journey. He will mark that journey and won't for we will not be wasted. And at, at the same time, he is the destiny. He is the destiny of that journey. He is the culmination of our journey. Therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, let us cling to him so that he can hold our hands and lead us to the mountain of the Lord that is heaven. Praise be to God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Let us stand so that we may Beside the creed, I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived of the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered and appointed as Pilate, was crucified, died, and buried. He descended into hell. That day he rose again from the dead, and he ascended into heaven. In the light hand of God, and uh, shall come judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Let us have the prayers of the faithful. Let us bring our petitions before the Lord. Our dear Heavenly Father, we come before you. Thank you in a special way for having made us in your own image and in your likeness and gave us gift of wisdom, gift of, gift of knowledge and most of the gift of faith that has enabled us to come before you and of ourselves. We ask you to continue strengthening us in our faith and most, most so when we, may, we meet with uh, or we find ourselves in hopelessness, you may be our hope. Lord, hear us. Lord, we continue to pray for our dear ones, more so who have asked us to pray for them, those who are in hospitals because of COVID, and those who their dear ones has passed away. May good Lord grant them strength, and may good Lord be with them and console them and be their guide. Lord, hear us. Lord, us. Your prayers. Prayer for thanksgiving. We thank and praise you, Holy Trinity, who is dwelling in our hearts. We gather on this day to be thankful for what we have, for our families we love, the friends we cherish, for beauty in nature, for uplifting our standards of living to enable us to sustain ourselves and our family members, and for the blessings that will come in our different vocations. Lord, hear us. Lord, gracious, hear us. Prayer for our homes and our families. Lord God, give us the strength to rely on each other.
most importantly to rely on you. I pray for each other, for each member of our family members, wherever they are. Help each one of us individually and as a family. Teach us to learn on how to spend time together, love one another, respect each other. We pray that you protect our homes and our families against any evil that tries to enter our home and strength to overcome temptations. Lord, hear us. Lord, gracious, hear us. Prayer for unity in the church. Thank you, God, for the gift of our church, a community of your children, that we have gathered here today to worship, serve, pray, and love. We pray for all the lay to remain faithful in their way of life. We pray for all the leaders in our church around the world. Give us wisdom and discernment as we lead. We pray that our hearts will be directed first to you, that we realize our help comes from you. We pray that you surround each one of us with wise counsel, that we will be humble and kind, patient and loving through our actions and words. Bless our upcoming Harambe here at St. Mary Magdalene Church and let your will be done. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear us. Prayer for the sick. Lord, Restore health on those that are seeking healing from you, especially patients with COVID-19 and other chronic diseases. Destroy sickness from their bodies with your blood and cause them to enjoy good health. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear us. Prayer for peace in our country. Lord Jesus Christ, you call us to be good instruments of peace. We therefore pray for all the government representatives who lead us. Remind them to seek your guidance as they make decisions that affect our country and the entire world. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear us. Amen.
Pray, my brethren, so that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the mighty Father, for the grace and glory of his name, for our good and good for his holy church. Let us pray. Be pleased, O God, to accept the offering of your church, for in your mercy you have given them to be offered, and by your power you transform them in the mystery of our salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. It is truly right and just to our duty and our salvation. Always and ever to give you thanks, Holy Father, Lord of heaven and, and earth, through Christ our Lord. For by your word you created the world and you govern all things in harmony. You gave us the same one made flesh as a mediator, and he has spoken your word to us. He called us to follow him. He is the way that leads us to, to you, the truth that sets us free, and the life that fills us with gladness. And through your Son, you gather men and women, whom you made for the glory of your name into one family, redeemed by the blood of his cross, and signed the seal of the Spirit. Therefore now, and the ages are ending, with all the ages, we proclaim your glory, as in Jehovah's celebration, we are claimed. Oh, 
are indeed holy and to be glorified, O God, who love the human race and who always walk in the, in, with us in the journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son, who is present in our midst, when we are gathered by his love, and when, as once for the disciples, so now for us, he opened the scriptures and breaks the bread. Therefore, Father, most merciful, we ask that to send for the Holy Spirit to satisfy this gift of bread and wine, that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, on the night of the last supper, he took bread and said the blessing and broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when the supper was added, he took the chariots and gave you things, and gave the chariots to his, disciple, to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chariots of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of our faith. As we celebrate the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Savior, whom you read through his passion and death on the cross, the glory of this election, and whom you have seated at your right hand, he proclaimed the work of your love until he comes again, and he offer you the bread of life, the chalice of blessing. Look with the faith found the blessing of your church, in which you saw for the Paschal sacrifice of Christ that has been handed unto us, and grant that by the power of spirit of your love, we may be counted now until the day of eternity among the members of your Son, in whose body and blood you have communion. Well, partaking of this mystery, mighty Father, give us life through your Spirit. Grant that we may conform to the image of your Son and confirm us the body of communion together in the Francis of our Pope, David Kamawa Bishop, with all other bishops, priests, and deacons, and with the entire people, you are made your own. Grant that all the faith of the church, looking at the signs of the time by the, life, by the light of faith, may constantly devote themselves to the service of, of the gospel. Keep us attentive to the needs of all that are sharing their griefs and pains, their joys and hopes. We may faithfully bring them the good news of salvation and go forward with them along the way of your kingdom. Remember to our brothers and sisters, and more so Father John from Garissa, Romena. Wairim, Patrick, Gojiri, Joseph Dongo, Kinyaji, Father to Kiai, and Veronica Modoni, Mother to Father Migwe, who are fallen asleep in peace of Christ, and all the dead whose faith alone you have known, and meet them to, to rejoice in the light of your face, and in their resurrection, give them the fullness of life. Grant also to us, when our other pilgrimage is done, that we may come to eternal dwelling place and live with you forever there in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the apostles and our martyrs, St. Mary Magdalene and our patron saints, other saints, we shall, praise, we shall praise and exhort you through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, through whom you bestow on this world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, mighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 
At our Savior command and formed by divine teachings, we dare to say together, Our Father, who art in heaven, Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not in temptation. The river has Lord, we pray from every evil. Grace has grant us peace in our days, that by help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress, as you are with the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, we say to apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give to you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And grace has grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and lives forever and ever. Amen. The peace. The peace of Lord Jesus Christ be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold whom who take away the sins of the world. He's the one who is calling us to be fed by, to be fed by him as he is the blood that comes from heaven. Blessed are we who are called the supper of the Lamb. The body and blood of Jesus Christ bring us to lasting life.
The bread that I will give, says the Lord, is my flesh and the life of the world. Let us pray. May the communion in your sacrament that we have consumed save us, O Lord, and confirm in the light of your truth through Christ our Lord. Otherwise, I would like to take this opportunity, especially way. Thank you for participating actively in this mass. Uh, that mass usually is for the youths, but also for other Christians. I'd like to appreciate uh, Father Peter Wawel, in a special way, who is the director of Captain TV, for having time, for setting time for us coming to be with us, with the, whole, with the whole company. We thank you, even you, uh, who assist Father in this work, noble work or mission that you evangelize through the communication, through the place, the TV. May God continue blessing you in your endeavors, in your works. May God continue making this uh, station great so that the, the name of the Lord or the work of the Lord may, be, may continue uh, to be heard and also to be, to be known throughout the whole world. Otherwise, as Antenna Sana, may God continue blessing you in all your endeavors. As Mame, I give you the blessings. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. 
Go forth in the peace of Christ. The mass is added. I wish you a blessed day ahead and also a week full of God blessings. Karibu.